understanding this uh, complex uh, uh, syndrome. Okay, so juvenile arthritis is a term for persistent arthritis lasting more than six weeks of unclear etiology. Okay, now to diagnose or to call it juvenile idiopathic arthritis, we need a good and detailed history. We need a good physical examination. We need to do certain lab tests. We need to follow it up with imaging, which could be X-rays, MRIs, CT scans, and we need to follow these children up because it is not possible to call a child as juvenile idiopathic arthritis with a single instance. Okay, so we need to follow them up, and only then can we tag or label these children as juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Now the confusion comes with the the definition of uh, JIA. Now, what is the definition of JIA? Uh, according to the American College of uh, Rheumatologists and the European Union uh, League of League Against Rheumatism, uh, in the 1970s they had different definitions. It, they used to call it either JRA or they used to call it juvenile chronic arthritis. Now, this led to a lot of confusion about what actually these children are suffering from. They had different diagnostic criteria and they had different classifications. So in 1993, all the confusion was say streamlined by the newer classification which was given by the International League of Association of Rheumatologists. So this was given in 1993 and they divided them into seven phenotypically distinct categories of disease. So that is about oligoarthritis, polyarthritis which could either be rheumatoid factor positive or negative, systemic uh, GIA, psoriatic arthritis, enthesitis related arthritis and undifferentiated arthritis. So we'll talk about all of these about how to tag them as one of these conditions and uh, about the clinical features that we need.